I was asked on one of my other videos about two gang switches. Could I use a two gang switch for two one-way switches? And that's what we've got in this case here. This switch here does the ensuite bathroom, and this one here does the bedroom, but they're only one-way switch. There's no other switches in the location to turn on or off that light. So when we turn it round, we'll see it set up as if it's two one-way switches. Remember, when we're using two, three, four gang switches, all of the switches on the back are two-way switches. So they'll have common L1 and L2. So let's turn it around and have a look. And straight away, that might look a little bit complicated. So let's first of all work out what method they're using to wire the lights in this location. As we look here, we've got a connector block with four blue cables in it. So that's our neutral coming in, our neutral going out, and our neutral to our light in our ensuite, and our neutral to the light in the actual bedroom itself. So they're all four in a connector block here, which tells us we've taken the feed to the switch. In other words, we're using the two plate method and we've covered that lots of times on the channel. So there are four neutrals. In the very back of the box, all our CPCs are connected for all of those four as well. So incoming CPC, outgoing CPC, and the two CPCs to each of the lights. So that's what we've got going on there. So let's have a look at the back of the switch, which may look a little bit confusing, especially if you're doing your study program. Let's concentrate on the top terminals here first, which are common. So our common has the feed coming in. So let's presume this is the one here coming in. So this cable here brings in the permanent line connection into common. We've bridged it across to make it easier for ourselves with the amount of cables in one hole. So we've just put a little loop across to here, which brings the common or permanent line across to this common. So line in here, line loops across to the other common, and then goes out on this one, say, to another bedroom in the location. So that would be the line going out. So we've got a permanent line connection into common, which linked across and then goes out meaning that our connections at the bottom here, which are both out of L1, so L1 of this switch here and L1 of this switch here, are the switching lines going out. So when we operate the switch, we take the permanent line from here, we operate the switch, it comes onto here, and this becomes a switching line that turns on the ensuite bathroom. And if we turn this one on, the permanent line at the top here, the switching line goes out and turns on the bedroom light. We know they work correctly because they'll have both a switching line on those two locations, They'll have the neutrals from the connector block and the circuit protective conductors in order they've got the right connections there. A little top tip, when you're doing your two, three and four gang switches, if you find that down isn't on and it's being used as a one-way switch, all you need to do is move it from say L1 across to the L2 or the other way around. So if we'd found that one of these was down was on and one of them was down was off, all you would have had to have done is move it from L1 into L2 and it will reverse the throw of that switch. So that's a little top tip for you. So this is using a two gang switch actually as a two one way switches and not as two way switches and not another switch in the location. And what we would never do really is have an independent just one gang switch here one way and next to it another one gang one way switch because then all of a sudden you've taken up twice as much of the area that you need to. So you can use a two gang, three gang, four gang, etc. all of them as one way switches as we've done here, or you can combine them. Perhaps we'd have the ensuite bathroom switch here, and then maybe the bedroom one, you'd want to switch at the door, but maybe you'd also want to switch by the side of the bed. So it's actually two way and meant you didn't have to get up in order to operate that switch. And if you want to see how I did that in a wiring diagram, check out the video on screen over there.